السلام الله عليكم This is Radio Al-Huda East Africa time almost 7 a.m. You are watching live from our studio in Wajid District Special Al-Huda School You can also follow us on Facebook at Al-Huda Primary and Secondary School It is another beautiful Saturday morning 21st October 2023 My name is Leila Ahmed Mohamed Andra Adhan Tuku Hassan Bringing you to the latest news around the globe Here is our news headlines. Heavy rains in Bedo district causing significant flooding. Somali's auditors generous orders 18 ex officials to return government vehicles. Butulan opposition rejects conduct of one man one vote. Somali presidential advisor says Ethiopia's demand on access to red disease should be taken seriously. Heavy rains in Baidoa district has caused significant flooding. In several parts of Baidoa town, our reporter Mohamed Hassan Gadi will give us more detail about that. Heavy rains in Baidoa district caused significant flooding in several parts of Baidoa town and the surrounding areas in southwest state of Somalia. The rains marked the beginning of the day October to December. Rainy season in the country are expected to have above normal rains and flooding due to the influence of the El Nino conditions. According to a rapid assessment conducted on 6 October by the State Ministry of Humanitarian and Disaster Management and the Camp Coordination and Camp Management Subcluster Partners, about 107,000 people have reportedly been affected by the impact of the heavy rains including over 86,700 displaced people living in 136 displacement sites verified by the partners. The majority of the displaced people have moved to high ground laws to their settlements and your great reporter Mohammed Hassan Gadi. Thank you Mohammed Hassan Gadi. Somalis Auditor General has ordered 18 ex officials to return government vehicles. Our reporter Amina Ibrahim Hassan, aka Ainush, will give us more about the details on that. The Office of Somalis Auditor General on Tuesday ordered 18 former officials to return government vehicles. They have been using irregular within 15 days. In a statement, the Auditor General called on government institutions to register the number of vehicles returned by the former officials and inform his office. It comes month after the government of the incumbent President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud announced a crackdown on corruption and the theft of public funds. His Excellency announced his fight against corruption will not only bring you to justice state, Mbulo is accused of theft of public funds, will not deserve sympathy from anyone. My am your reporter, Amin Ibrahim Hassan. Thank you, Amin Ibrahim Hassan. Butul and opposition reject this conduct of one man, one vote. Our reporter Mahat Bare will give us more details on that. Butul and opposition on Wednesday rejected the conduct of one man, one vote election promised by the incumbent president of Northern Somali, semi autonomous state Saeed Abdullah Deni. In a statement, they called for the selection of 66 MPs who would then choose regional president, a fault that the region has been holding for the last two decades. The regional opposition treats that they will oust Denny if he refuses to hold the fort on time and condemned amendments to the constitution which had been approved by parliament. I am your reporter, Mahat Adam Barre. Thank you, Mahat Barre. Somali presidential advisor says Ethiopia's dream bond on access to Red Sea should be taken seriously. Our reporter Zainab Mohamed Adam Zainus will give us more about the details on that. The advisor of Somali's president on road relief, Abdurrahman Afshakur, said on Monday, recent treaties by Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Ahmed that his government would attempt to acquire a seaboard in the Red Sea by force should be taken seriously. Repeated comments from Ethiopian government officials on their demands to acquire a boat in the Red Sea cannot be ignored, Afshakur said in a post on Facebook. The official call for increased vigilance over the Ethiopian ambition towards a possible annexation of bottles in northern Somalia. I am your reporter. Thank you, Sena Mohamed Aden. You have just heard the latest news around the globe. Again, this is Al Huda News. News with no bias. News with no exceptions. Delivering nothing but 
the truth. This has been Layla Ahmed and Dad and Tuko bringing you to the latest news around the galop. And that is all for today's time sizzling news. Thank you for being with us.